everybody. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Delta Squonk Kit. This is by TVL and Revenant, and it does come with the mod. It comes with the RDA. It comes with a different type of a squonking feature that I'm going to be showing you, which I think is kind of cool. It comes with a different type of filling system as well. So to fill the bottle is not that difficult with this at all. Um, there will be some cons to it, but I'm going to show you what it's all about. Um, another plus is that it takes all three batteries. It takes an 18650 battery with the adapter included, 2700 and 21700. So you, any batteries that you have, you can be able to use this. Um, it does come in a few different colors. I do have it in the rainbow. This is actually the reviewers editions, I think are pretty much all in rainbow, but um, I could be wrong. But yeah, so I do, I love rainbow, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and go down and we're gonna take a look at this and talk more about okay, so it. So here we are with the Delta Squawk Kit. Um, that comes with the Reload RDA and it's by TVL and Revenant Vape. This is the box that I received it in. I've actually seen other people receive different boxes, but this is mine. It's kind of plain Jane, but it's not what's what the box is. It's what's in the box. So on the back, it's going to give you your product contents. It's going to give you your specifications, and then it's going to give you some specifications on the RDA itself as well. And you open up the box, you're going to be getting the kit, which is the mod with the RDA. You're also going to get a little... Um, juice bottle which i think is really nice that they provide this for you if you want to take juice with you and you don't want to take a whole bottle you can actually bring this along with you you do get the kit which again does come with the reload rda underneath a baggie of goodies this is going to come with some coils it's going to come with your tri-tool some extra screws the 510 drip tip adapter some o-rings so all these goodies in here you're also going to be getting a regular 510 so if you want to not use the rda as a squonking rda and you want to just use it as a dripper you can it's going to come with your manual and then it also comes with your um, firmware upgrade or um, usb cord with the manual it's really really user simple it's like basically that's it so it's going to tell you about the mod it's going to tell you all about like how to do the rda but with a single coil you can do it and it also does take mesh coils as well so if you want to do it that way and then um in addition to that you also get this battery adapter it does say vaporesso and i'll tell you why it probably says that in a minute but this is the battery adapter so um in the package you're going to get your mod with the rda on it we're actually going to be going over the rda first but um so let's go ahead and take a look at that Now this RDA is a 24.5 millimeter RDA. It does say reload on the bottom. You already have your squonk pin already installed. It does have your peak insulator and it does protrude. Um, on the side, you're gonna get your Cyclops type airflow, one on either side. You're also gonna get a really, really nice um, 810 drip tip. Kind of hard to get out, but it does come out, I promise you. Um, and you can use any of your 810 drip tips in it. And then you've got this conical design on the top, which is really, really nice. Oh, my stuff is still wet in there. There you go. You can take that out. Let's push that out and take off that. And the drip tip does come. It's really, really tight in there. Really, really tight. And I've already lubed this up and washed it and everything, and it's still tight. You can use any of your A10 drip tips, though. They do fit in there. They fit in there just a little bit better, too. But yeah, so that's the top. Um, the O rings are pretty nice. I mean, it does come out pretty easy. Um, I wish it was just a little bit tighter, but it's got a pretty good tolerance. I mean, it's not like it's going to like fall out. You, those are your cutouts for your airflow. If you notice, there is no single airflow configuration. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it is a two piece barrel system and just take off the top for you. Okay. So we can see the deck. Okay, as I was mentioning, you can do single coils and you can do mesh coils. The reason why I'm saying that you can't do dual coil is because the coil actually goes one leg here and one leg here. If you're doing it that way um, and you're trying to put two of them in your cotton, you're going to have to like literally loop around to try to go here into the um, wicking channels. So I don't suggest doing that, but you can do a single one here and you can also do a mesh coil. Now, um, personally, um, you also get some notches on the side there. Those notches actually correspond to the notches right here. So that way it'll move, but only a certain distance. So that's great. Now your wicking channels are really, really narrow. You really don't have that much of a wicking channel. It's really, really narrow, but your cotton will go here and here. And then of course, when you squonk, it's actually gonna come up here and then drip down, wet your wicks or your coil if it's here low enough. Um, and then if you unscrew these, so you need a flat head and then all you do is you just loosen those up as you loosen them up it's actually going to open they are not spring loaded so they might open a little crooked but you can just push them but you see how that is yeah so you can open it up it's just being that it's not spring loaded it's actually going to close if you go this way but let's go ahead and open them up so i can show you more 
Open that one up, see how it goes that way. I really wish that if they were gonna do this, that they did it spring-loaded just so that it stays open because, um, I mean, it stays open for the most part, but it does close on one side if you um, tilt it. But yeah, so that's where your coil would go or your mesh, whichever way that you decide that you want it. And then that's pretty much it. That's, that's as easy as it gets. So we're gonna go ahead and build on this and then we'll go over the mod. And I'm actually gonna be using a frame staple coil that I have from Coil Cloud. I'm not gonna be using the ones that they provided. I just know my coils and I know what materials and everything that they're made out of. So this is the one I'm gonna be using. I've actually only got one left, so I'm really, really upset about that. But yeah, so let's do that. And I've got my coil right there. And these are made of Nichrome 80. If you want any information on them or you want some for yourself, just go to coilclout.com and you can put in the coupon code 1D15 and get 15% off. One leg on one side and one leg on the other. There we go. Now it's in. Okay, so you wanna put it in there and you can hold it down. I feel like it's not sitting right. It's probably still a little bit too, no, it's perfect length perfect length it's just that it's being that it's got these strips and nothing really to grip it with it's that's the problem so I'm gonna put this one there tighten that one down that'll hold that leg in and then this one over here and tighten that one we can go ahead and fix the coil once we have it in there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and straighten it out there we go it over this way a little bit there we go much much better all right we want it right over the the squonk pin right there just making sure that that's there and i'm going to tighten that up just a little bit more make sure that those are nice and tight and for mesh coils i think this is actually um thrives for mesh coils because of the fact that it's got the two slits i feel like which i've tried a mesh coil in it but i wanted to show you with a regular coil it does thrive for that because when you're putting them in, it's so much easier because of these slits. It really, really is. So I'm just gonna move this over just a little bit and then we'll go ahead and start heating them. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulsing this just to get them heating up or get it heating up. I always say them because I'm so used to doing dual coils. I'm gonna just pinch it together a little bit until we get all the hot spots out. Almost done, there we go. More hot spots. Oh yeah. Turn it down just a little bit. Almost done. Yeah, I got some new tweezers. I'm not used to these. I love the feel of my old ones. Okay, almost there. Beautiful coils. I love these coils. I really do. These are probably my favorite. There we go. Heating from the inside out. And then to put the then cotton. Put today's cotton, I'm gonna be using my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. That's just what I always use. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and twist it up and then put it through. Pull it out. I like mine snug in there because if it's too loose, then you will get spit back, usually in RDAs. That's why I do it. I'm just gonna fluff it out just a little bit and fluff this side out a little bit. This side I'm gonna to have to trim. Kind of a deep juice well um it's just that there's really no space for the cotton but it is pretty deep so all you have to do is just put this in there like that and you're done and what's going to happen is when i get ready to squonk i'm actually going to show you how that works i don't have any liquid in it because we're going to go over the mod now but when you squonk it's actually going to come out right from there it's going to trickle down both sides as well as hit the ender side of your coil but that's basically what it looks like all made up isn't that beautiful yes it is thank you so much Okay, so let's go ahead and start so with So here mod. we are with the Delta Squonk mod. Um, and this is by TVL and Revenant. It says Revenant there on this side. It says TVL on this side. This is the rainbow edition. On the top, you're gonna have your 510. It is a floating 510. It's not very springy at all, just to show you. And then of course, you've got this push to squonk a button, which we're gonna go over. And then on the bottom, you're gonna have this little hole here. This is actually not a screw or anything. This is actually where you're gonna fill up your juice, which I'm really excited to show you. Right here, it's got an arrow for you to push it that way and some battery ventilation. So when you push it like this, it actually pops up and that's where your battery goes. Again, it does come with the 18650 adapter battery sleeve, but this does take um, the 21700s or the 2700s. I prefer to use my Sony 
40T. Um, if you notice, it's got a plus indicated right there and a negative indicated right there, really, really clear. I just wish this was probably white, but you can still tell what it is. So that's awesome. So your battery slides really nicely in there. Now, this right here is actually your squonk bottle and it pulls out like this. Sorry, it's still a little bit wet from cleaning it. This bottle comes out, which I think is great that it comes out for cleaning, that's awesome. It is made of a plastic, um, and it does hold 6.5 mils of e-liquid, but you don't even have to take it out to fill, which is a really, really nice part about this Squonk Mod. It's basically the main feature of it. Now, if you notice, there's a little window here and a window here. This is so that you can see your e-liquid levels. Um, honestly, in, in all honesty, I think that this just has a sexy look to it anyways. So let's go ahead and put the battery back in because we're gonna go over the menu. But before we go over the menu, let's go ahead and put this battery, I like how it clips in, into place. It feels very, very secure. And then I'm gonna show you how to fill this. Now, to fill it, what you're gonna do is take your e-liquid bottle. Yes, I've got some of my Royal Cheesecake. I've actually gotta get my new bottle out. And the way that it's made, it is actually closed right now, but when you push your bottle in, it actually opens it up let me see if you can see it in here. Let me do it this way. Yes, you can. Okay. So when you push your bottle in like this, it actually opens it up. You see? So it opens it up. So when you're putting it in, it's going to open up. The e-liquid's going to fill that way. When you pull the bottle out, it closes back up. That to me is totally ingenious. I have to say, I, 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 I totally love that, that fact about it. I think that that is crazy smart. <laughs> um, who doesn't want to not be able to spill their e-liquid when they're refilling? So I think that that's great. So all you do is you just push your bottle in to open it up and just squeeze. And when you do, you'll be able to see your e-liquid right through there. Let's go ahead and squeeze that in there. Just Sorry, my bottles are a little bit tough, so it's kind of hard to see in there. I don't know if you can see in that window but it's getting some e-liquid in there. Let me see if I can zoom in so that you can see that. There's a little bit of e-liquid right there. I'm gonna keep filling, just push and squeeze. You can see it. All right, so, and then that's it. You literally are not gonna spill anything because, now I spilled it on the outside because I was looking. But look, it doesn't come out. It doesn't come out at all. And then you can see your e-liquid level here and then there's also some in here, so that's awesome. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at the rest of the mod. Again, that is your push to squonk feature. So when you push this, the liquid's gonna come up through this hole and it's gonna go into your RDA and that's gonna, gonna um, squonk that. I'm gonna actually show you that afterwards. Um, I just wanna go through the menu. Now, the turn on your mod, it's one, two, three, four, five clicks and it turns it on. Revenant with TVL and then it's got this menu. If the menu kind of looks familiar, this is actually the Vaporesso Omni board menu. It's got the Omni chip in it. So that's why this looks familiar. It actually works just like the Vaporesso mods do, which is great. So it's gonna show you your variable wattage is normal here. It's gonna show your battery. It's gonna give you your wattage. It's also gonna give you your resistance. It's gonna give you your puff counter, your voltage, as well as your seconds being fired. And um, as you notice, when it times out, it's actually gonna give you a clock, just like Vaporesso. So I think that's awesome. Now, the cool feature is, is that to get into the menu, you do not need to press your fire button. There's your little clock. Um, it tells you the date and the time, and you can also have it in numbers if you don't want the clock. I personally like the clock. So you, all okay. you need to do is just press your menu button here, that little middle button. To select, you're gonna do it from the left or the right. So I'm gonna go down, because the first one is default, I'm not gonna set it to default, so I'm gonna go down the time to your time set. This is where you can select pointer, number, or off. I currently have it set at pointer. To select any of the others for your date, it, you just keep pressing your menu button, make your change, press your menu button again till you get down to the time, do the same thing. You can press up and down on the sides of the menu button to select and then just keep going. When you're done, you're gonna long press this menu button and it'll go ahead and go back to the menu. The next setting is gonna be your brightness. This, you can actually turn it all the way down. You can turn it all the way up. So if you want to turn it down or it bothers you, you can do it. And the next one is gonna be your puff counter. This is where you can reset it. If you choose reset, just press this button and it resets it automatically and takes you right back. The next one is gonna be your theme color. So this is for on your screen. You can pick any color you want. I'm actually gonna pick the yellow just to make it a little bit easier. The next one is gonna be your screen timeout. This is how fast your screen will timeout. Like if you notice, it goes to clock in 30 seconds. And this will go up to minutes, that's a whole hour. So you can't have it set for that long. So 60 minutes, so 60 minutes and all the way down to three seconds. So we're gonna have a happy medium and we're gonna go down to, let's go to 82 seconds, that'll work. Long press to get out of here. Next one is gonna be 
your auto on and off. Like your smart wattage recognition, you can have it on or you can have it off. I like to keep it on. Oops, sorry. And then of course you've got your super player mode. Super player mode is more for RDAs and this will bring down your resistance to a 0 0.05. So if you do wanna put it on, all you do is just select on. I usually keep it off because I don't need my resistance that low personally. And then of course your version of your firmware. So there we go there. And I, like I told you, this is the Omnivo Omniboard 4.0, which is from Vaporesso. Next one is gonna be exit. Just press that button and you're back here. So that is cool. So if you notice, um, we didn't have the temperature control and the voltage and all that other great stuff. This is a wattage only mode, so, or a mod. So if you are looking for something that's only got wattage and that's your preferred way of vaping, then this would definitely be something that you might be interested in because there is no other settings. It's basically just wattage. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the squonking feature. Now, um, I'm, I want you to see it when I push it here, you're gonna see the juice rise there. So squonk and rise. You saw that? It comes right out. So we'll go ahead and squonk it until you see it. And this, now the one thing I will tell you is that it's kind of a slow squonker. So it doesn't like a whole bunch come out at, at one time. So you don't have to really worry about over squonking unless you pressed it for too many times. But yeah, so it just comes out and I'll go down into the reservoirs. See, and it does suck back in any extra. So that's always good because if it doesn't suck back in, then it just pulls at the bottom. But yeah, that's basically what it is. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and just get this started for you. It is squonking already and it's starting to get the, the cotton saturated. I always try to prep it anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna drip some on here. Oops, or drip it right on the mod. There we go, wipe that off. So I'm gonna drip it here and then I'm gonna fire it just so that we make sure that the cotton within the coil is getting saturated as well. Because that to me um, prevents any dry hits and any type of um, ramp up time of your cotton if you do it this way. There we go, it's getting nice and wet. If you notice, it's gonna get wet from the inside out. Just keep doing it that way. There you go, nice, nice, nice. And then see, it's pretty much already saturated and I didn't even do nothing with it. So that came from the bottom. So yeah, so that's it for that. We'll go ahead and put this on here, get that all worked up and the notches on and um, lock it into place. There we go, all locked into place. So that's it, that's the TVL Revenant Delta Squonk Kit that has got a lot of e-liquid on it because of me. So let's go ahead and go on top and we'll take a look and I'll give you my pros and cons and we'll have a base. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Delta Squonk Kit by TVL and Revenant. And I have to, before anything, take a vape so that you can see it. And yes, for some reason, I keep leaving my finger here and this has been going on for about two weeks that I'm just leaving my finger here and that's not the way to do it. So you do wanna press your fire button. Now I'm still rocking the coil that I actually built this with so that I could tell you about the flavor and everything else. And um, the flavor on it, it's good. It's not the best um, for an RDA. I, I've gotten a lot better flavor on different RDAs. It's not the worst either because I have had some RDAs where you got literally no flavor. This is not that bad. Um, it's got a couple quirks to it. I'm gonna go over the RDA cons first. One con is gonna be that the AFC ring here is very, very loose. So just like bumping, I mean, it's, I, I went to go and move this and I accidentally moved, and it moved it really, really fast. So I think that the, the O-ring tolerance here should have been just a little bit tighter. Um, the airflow is nice. I do love the airflow. But all the way open, it does give me a tiny bit of a whistle. Of course, it's not gonna give it there because I'm talking about it. So I do close it down just a tiny bit like that. That's how I close it down, just a tiny bit. And it works for me. I will tell you that the cloud production and the, the airflow is amazing on it. Cloud production and airflow is amazing. The build deck, not a fan of. Um, it's easy because you can just do one coil or you can do mesh. Um, I have tried the mesh in it. I do like the mesh, but it's not my favorite. I prefer it with the single coil, which is why I only showed you the single coil build. It can be a little bit finicky because of those little slits. I'm not a fan of those slits. What I think that should have happened is maybe four separate, 
four separate slits. So instead of having the one whole side with a slit, breaking it in half and just having individual slits, I feel like that would have made it a little bit better. Um, but that's just my opinion. Another thing is, is I feel like they should have brought down the build deck a little bit. I think if they would have brought down the build deck a little bit, that it would actually give you, I don't know, a little bit more something. I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I love the airflow and everything. I just feel like another option would have been to just drop that. But I think the build deck is just way too tall. I really do. I mean, just looking at it, it just looks way too tall for me. That's just my opinion. That's my honest opinion. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I don't, I'm not a fan of the slits. I feel like if there were four of them, it would have made it perfect. I really think that four slits would have, because you feel like they're a little wonky once you only get the one coil in. That way you could have done it either way and it wouldn't have felt that way. Um, the squonking feature, I do like. The only thing is, is that with the squonking on the same side as the fire button, I'm not a fan. Um, and this has happened on another squonking um, device that I reviewed not too long ago. I don't, like I said, I'm constantly having my finger here and that's not the fire button. So a lot of times that I go to fire it, I'll actually be squonking. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but I'll squawk it instead of fire it. Um, I'm a thumb firer, so it doesn't bother me. I, if I hold it like this, I don't forget and press this because it's a little bit taller. But if I do choose to finger fire it, I do tend to put my finger there. I don't know. I just like my squonk buttons on a different side than my fire button. That is a personal preference. It's not necessarily a con. The menu options on the mod, I think, are amazing. They are from Vaporesso. Vaporesso is one of my top companies that I love their, build, their boards. I love the way that they're... Tanks are, I mean, they, they're just a really stand-up company. So having that Omni board in here, I think makes the menu so user-friendly that it's it's ridiculous. It's wattage only, so you can't mess it up and put in temperature control or bypass or anything like that. Wattage only, but you still get some little menu features in there that you can change, which I think is a plus. Um, I love having the menu button. The menu button to me is a plus. I do not like using the fire button for everything. So having that menu and the up and down, the way that they are, I think is great. I, I actually love this. Sorry about the fingerprints everywhere. But I love this setup. I think that it just works. And it, the gunmetal color is just absolutely beautiful. Um, the USB port is on the bottom, which I think is a great place to, to have it, especially if you're doing any firmware upgrades because you have it sitting down. Another huge pro is going to be um, the fill method. I think that it's absolutely awesome to fill it. Um, the only problem is, is that if you over squonk or like you're squonking up the last of it and you don't vape it to dry it out a little bit, then when you tip it over to fill it, you're, you're probably going to have juice come out. That's not because of any flaw on the RDA. It's just the fact that if you're going to tilt it upside down and you just filled it, it, there's nowhere else for the juice to go but out. So it's not a con because I love the fill method, but it is um, something that I just want you to be aware of so that you don't do that by accident because getting hot e-liquid on you is not fun and I've got the scars to prove it. But anyway, so that's pretty, I, I mean, I like the fact that I can press the fire button on the thumb. It's comfortable on the on my finger press either way that i put it it's really really comfortable in the hand and it's not too heavy which i do like um the colors of it the rainbow colors and how shiny it is that to me is a pro to you guys might not be i know that a lot of people don't like that and they're all like all about the fingerprints if you're if you you don't like fingerprints you're not gonna like this but if you don't mind them if they don't bother you and you just like rainbows like i do you're gonna love this you really will because the colors just pop i mean it's colorful it's mirrored so that you can check your makeup as you're going through the day <laughs> yeah check your makeup but yeah so i mean that's about it. I, I love how it sits all together. I mean, it is a 24.5 millimeter um, RDA and it just, it sits flush to me. Um, and it's not the worst RDA. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. So I don't want you to think that like, you know, because it's, it's got a couple cons that it's the worst. It's really not. I'm getting good flavor. The best flavor, no, but I'm getting good flavor. I'd say it ranks up there about maybe a six and a half to a seven. So it's not the worst flavor I've had. To me, it's still better than a sub ohm tank, if that's any consolation. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's got all the modes that are in the Vaporesso um, mod. So I think that that's cool. It does have that clock, which you know that I love having a clock on my mod because I'm lazy and I don't want to look at my watch. And half the time, my battery's dead anyways on my watch so i have to look at my <laughs> mod so yeah so that's pretty much it um i do know that they have it at a few places they definitely have it at revenantvape.com so you can get it there um 
Let me see. Um, it go, does go from five watts to 100 watts. I did forget to tell you that. That's kind of a big thing, but I was worried about like the menu. But yeah, it does go from five watts to 100 watts. Um, if you're gonna go to 100 watts, I do not suggest using an 18650 battery. You're gonna drain it really, really quick, depending on the resistance of your coil, of course. So if you wanna check out battery safety and things like that, that might be a plus, especially being that this is an RDA and you're gonna be using coils. So that is definitely a plus. Um, let me see, three different batteries. That, that that's, that's awesome. I think that most mods should come with a three battery option. 18650, 2700, or 21700, you can't, you, can't, you can't say no about that. Now I did forget to show you that it does lock. All you do is three clicks and it'll lock it. And you'll see a little lock button right there. And to unlock it, three clicks. Now the only thing is, is that when you're doing that, be careful because it don't, will fire. Yeah, that, that's one thing that I get it to do. Now when it is locked, you can still fire it, but you can't change any menu options. So if I try to change something on the menu, it's going to tell me to either click three times to unlock it or five cl clicks to turn it off. So that's good because that way you don't change your wattage or your settings while you're vaping accidentally. Now, the only thing is, is that being that they're so recessed, I haven't had that issue. There are some mods that I accidentally changed my wattage and stuff like that. But in this one, you don't have to worry about that. So I think that that's a plus. Um, let me see. What else was it? Um... I think that's about it. That's about it for me, yeah. I won't lie to you, for the looks of it, I think that it's absolutely amazing. The squonking feature does work. It's not gonna, it doesn't, it does take a couple pumps to fully saturate, but that's not bad because it's a really, really easy method. So definite plus for that. And I think that this was actually the first one to come out with this. I think I saw that there's a second one out there, but this one actually came out first. I just haven't reviewed it because I've been testing it out for a couple weeks. But um, yeah, so this to me, I think is ingenious. I think the squonking is going far and there's so many different changes. So of course, you're gonna have different things. I love this squonk button. I love this squonk button. I love how to fill it. It's very, very easy. You don't need an extra bottle in there to fill it and you don't have to worry about spillage. So that's great. And one con I did forget to mention is the e-liquid capacity. That to me is a huge con. That is the only huge con that I have to this device. Six and a half milliliters of e-liquid capacity with a bottle that fat, I think is, is wrong. It, it's just, it's criminal, it's wrong. Um, nowadays, everything is anywhere from seven mils and up. So I feel like it should have been at the minimum eight mil e-liquid capacity. That's my opinion. I think that would have actually made this more perfect in my eyes. Six and a half mils I can go through in like literally a few hours. So that, that yeah, that's not good for me. <laughs> But yeah, so um, other than that, I think that it's a really, really great kit, especially like maybe a startup kit because it's got wattage only. It's very, very user friendly, very easy to build on. Um, so yeah, so that's that's pretty much it for my for my review. Um, build quality is good. First one out there. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. Oh, another subjective con. It didn't. It being that it's made also for mesh, I think that it should have come with mesh coils as well as the the regular coils. Um, but that I did want to mention. And also it didn't come with any cotton. So usually it comes with cotton, but it didn't. So those are just little tiny subjective cons and things that I'm trying to think of that might've been a con for you. Not necessarily a con for me, but that's it. That's it for my review. So I will see you on the next one.